The principle here is really basic. Don't do any work. This is just human nature. If you do someone else's work for them, suddenly they're gonna think that it's not their work, it's your work. It's key to have a really good chair in a kind of obscure spot, maybe in the barn, maybe in a stall. In the woods is really ideal, but it's raining today, so I'm in the barn here. You can say you're gonna go do work, and then you go, you sit in your chair. I don't wanna touch you, can you uh, move? Can you move back? And that's really uh, the man and the husband's job in the homestead is, is filling a nice chair. Or she needs you to need her. It's really a mutually beneficial relationship, it's not, just like she's doing everything for you, you're really doing her a huge service by needing her and doing nothing. You might wanna shift a few things around so it looks like you, you did something here. We'll put this right over here. There, that's better. And now it looks like I've actually done some work here and yet I really haven't. The key to getting your wife to do all the work on the homestead is um, is not doing work. And you leave things undone, the pressure builds, they have to be done, and then she'll do them. And that's what I would really recommend to anyone out there who is on a homestead, doesn't want to really do the work of homesteading, is I'll find a chair, you, you can even find a spot for sleeping. I have one of those. A hammock in the barn can be a really great place to avoid work. Really good place. Sleeping in hay is a long practice tradition by men on farms to avoid work. If she comes down to the barn, don't be sitting in the chair when she arrives. Tell her how busy you are. Make sure you shift enough things around and then when she goes back to the house, you can get back to your fantastic dreams for your future homestead plans that uh, she's gonna implement for you. I'm done with the barn. What should I do next? Go to the store. I'll go to the store. Thanks. You're welcome.